You are the unvaccinated. You are the problem. It is the unvaccinated who are the problem, period, end of story. The only people that you can blame, the only people you can blame, this isn't shaming, this is the truth, maybe they should be shamed, are the unvaccinated. It's time to start blaming the unvaccinated folks, not the regular folks. Anyone you came into contact with will blame you as will the rest of us who have done the right thing by getting vaccinated. Because frankly, we know that we can't trust the unvaccinated. I think it's time to get our moral house in order, Anderson. It's the unvaccinated who are the threat. All those vaccinated folks are going to start wearing masks to protect the unvaccinated folks. It's called a Christian value. You're basically punishing the vaccinated uh, for the the sins of the unvaccinated. People are not behaving honorably. The unvaccinated are basically saying, well, it's open season for me. I can do whatever I want as well. The, the unvaccinated are basically beating their breasts and running around the country saying, ha ah, ha, we don't care, we're living free and so forth. You've been patient, but our patience is wearing thin. The unvaccinated, a group that includes children and people acting like children. <laughs> And the rest of us are starting to get pissed off. The vaccinated feel the unvaccinated are making me upset or angry. This is not about freedom or personal choice. Well, my freedom is being kind of disturbed here. No, screw your freedom. The other day, Howard Stern weighed in with a much different approach. Take a look. <laughs> when are we going to stop putting up with the idiots in this country and just say, you now, it's mandatory to get vaccinated? Their freedom. But you're treading on our freedom and you're making other people sick and really you're killing other people. The anti-vaxxers, they seem to have a thing for death and home remedies. The anti-maskers turned anti-vaxxers are not just putting their own lives at risk. If that was the issue, we could just say that we can watch them compete to win place or show in the Darwin Awards. We have to start doing things for the greater good of society and not for idiots who think that they can do their own research. And don't get me started on the lunatics who won't take any of the COVID vaccines. Life is too short to be an ass. Life is way too short to be ignorant of the promise of something that is helping people worldwide. Maybe you're doing it because um, you're, you're disconnected or disorganized. Maybe you have some sympathetic psychological reasons. Reasons. But maybe you're just being antisocial. Oh, you can't shame them. You can't call them stupid. You can't call them silly. Guys. Yes, they are. Those who are not vaccinated will end up paying the price. The unvaccinated should be taxed. Uh, they should pay more for health care. We need to start looking at the choice to remain unvaccinated the same as we look at driving while intoxicated. We're going to see, and I've said, almost mm -hmm. two types of America. Dr. Fauci said that if hospitals get any more overcrowded, they're going to have to make some very tough choices about who gets an ICU bed. I don't, that choice doesn't seem so tough to me. Vaccinated person having a heart attack? Yes, come right on in. We'll take care of you. Unvaccinated guy who gobbled horse goo. Rest in peace, Wheezy. Pointing back to the unvaccinated who are really creating a problem in this country, every death that we are seeing from COVID could have been prevented. Literally, the only people dying are the unvaccinated. And for those of you spreading misinformation, shame on you. Shame on you. I don't know how some of you sleep at night.